What's up guys, welcome back to another Sunshine State Outdoors episode. This is gonna be a simple video. What we're gonna do is show you guys how to build your own deer feeder. Now you guys can go out and spend $250, $350 on a hanging deer feeder, or you could build one for right around a hundred bucks. Um, I'll put all the parts and um, the prices of everything in the description below. If you guys enjoy this video, hit that like and subscribe button. So I'm going to just go over all the parts that you need. First things first is you're going to need a barrel. This I found on Facebook Marketplace for like $25, super cheap. A new one's going to run you like $150, but barrels you can find pretty much everywhere. You also going to need a, some type of feeder motor um, kit so I went with the Moultrie. We've used these for years and have had very minimal problems. Normally it's user error if there is a problem. What you're also going to need is a funnel, a small funnel that's going to go in the bottom of the barrel, kind of guides all the corn down into your feeder kit right here. You're going to need a level, you're going to need a half inch drill bit, and then you're going to need a smaller drill bit. Now the smaller drill bit is important because when you're drilling into um, metal like this and the barrel and how it's rounded, using a big drill bit is just going to slide all over the place. If you just use a small drill bit, you're able to poke a hole where you want and then you can use the larger one to get it done. This is a hole dozer by M Milwaukee. I believe it's a 2 and 3 eighths, yeah 2 and 3 eighths size. You can pick these up at Home Depot. Uh, this is about $18. You can probably find them cheaper online. You're going to need a set of screws. Uh, these are number 10 32s and they're half inch. Uh, you're also going to need, if you want to paint the barrel, if you don't like the color the barrel came in, it's not necessary, but you can get paint cans. We went with the camouflage cans by Rust-Oleum. There's a couple different companies for that. You're going to need these couplings. These little couplings are half inch and you're going to need two of them. You're also going to need some eye bolts and these are six inch. Now you can get longer, you can get shorter. Um, I go with the six inch ones. Uh, and those come with, those come with these nuts on them already. Um, and then you'll have to get four washers and then two extra half inch nuts. Um, the other thing you're going to want to get is one of these little bars. I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, but I did have to cut it down. Here, let me actually measure it real quick. I had to, they come in two foot, I had to cut it down to 18 and a half inches to fit what I wanted it to be. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then we'll kind of get on to the whole assembly process. Now I did pre-drill most of the holes um, and I pre-painted the barrel just to save some time. Uh, but I'll kind of explain where you want to drill holes and why. All right, so the first step that you're going to do is you're going to want to drill your holes. Um, this is a half inch hole. Um, you don't want to drill it too high to this lip because when you put a lid on, even just like the factory lid, it's going to sit down. When you put the little clamp on, it's going to be down to about here. Now when you buy an aftermarket lid, it's going to come down to about here. So you don't want it to be overlapping your hole or the, your lid's not going to fit properly. But the holes that we're going to want to draw on the bottom are going to be for our funnel. So you're going to take your funnel and you're going to line it up and that's how you get your holes. This funnel is going to go on the inside this way though. These other holes are for the attachment of your uh, motor bracket and just kind of same thing line it up drill your holes and that's it the hardest part of this whole entire process is going to be getting these bolts in the holes and screwed on properly um, you're definitely gonna need help uh, I mean I've done it alone but it sucks and it's very frustrating so if you have some help it makes everything a whole lot easier so we're gonna get all everything kind of set up lined up and then we'll show you the next steps all right, so we got our bracket installed. We got the little funnel um, that I was talking about installed as well. The next thing that you're gonna do is you can attach your motor to it. I'll show you how it attaches real quick. It just slips on and then locks in. And it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, 
So you're going to want to do this part first. Now you're going to take the we're going to take the motor off, um, but you're going to want to do this part first, mostly because when you get this bar going across the top, unless you are a very scrawny person, you cannot get into the bottom of the barrel to get all the bolts and everything on. So um, we're going to flip it over. Um, normally you're going to put it on your barrel on something, so this is not sitting on the ground and doesn't crack on you. So. We'll get it all set up and then we'll show you guys how to install um, basically the bracket mechanism to hold it and so that you can hang it into the tree. So we got all that installed. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to flip your barrel over. Like I said, you're going to sit it on top of something. I just happen to have a pallet laying around. Um, so set it on the pallet so that the plastic doesn't break and we're going to start installing our brackets. So you're going to want to kind of get this bolt all the way over onto the end. And you're just going to slide it through the hole. You can do that with your other side as well. And then you're going to take your washer and your other little hex nut. You're going to just sandwich it up against the barrel. Now you don't want to tighten this too tight, um, especially if you're just planning on using a normal, um, the normal lid that comes on the barrel. Because if you tighten it too tight, you end up bending your barrel, and it's gonna, it, the lid's not gonna fit right. Now, if you go to Academy Sports, they do sell a lid. It's $19.99 or something like that, and it's plastic and it's more pliable, um, and that fits on even if you have like a little bend in the barrel or anything. But um, just don't tighten them too tight and you'll be good. Next parts that you need is your little coupling and this little, I guess, threaded rod is what we're gonna call it. And you're gonna thread it on. And I like to take just a little bit of Loctite because I don't want this coming loose and just put it on those threads in there. Way too much Loctite. But you're gonna wanna thread it in there until you only have about three threads left. And those three threads are what's going to thread into your eye bolt here. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Just repeat these steps and you'll be good. Get it nice and tight. That's, that's it. You just can slap your lid on it. And it's all set. The next thing, the only thing that I didn't buy for this project was the chain that's going to go over top. Um, you want to get probably about a four foot section of chain. Um, you can get two like little links or you can get um, carabiners that can clip in here, attach to the chain. Your chain's going to come to a point there. You're going to want to attach another link or carabiner and then that will attach to your um, little system, to your hanging system for in the tree. Super cheap, super easy. I'll post a link also to um, what we use to hang them into the tree. Uh, but this is a lot simpler and cheaper way than going with the Moultrie feeders. Um, Moultrie's great, but with this, the one thing that you get is that it's cheaper and that it holds more corn. Moultrie is only a 30 gallon feeder. This is a 55 gallon. You're just gonna hang it from a tree and you'll be all set for deer season. Keeps it away from hogs, keeps it away from bears. Um, if you're hunting on property like I do, which has a lot of livestock on it, keeps the livestock away from it, um, being able to reach it and knock it around. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope, hopefully you guys learned something. You guys can build one of these, super easy, really quick. Uh, I mean, it only took me about 20 minutes. The hardest part is just finding a barrel that you wanna go and get. That's it. So hit that like and subscribe button. Hopefully you guys have some luck in the off season and hope you guys enjoyed this video.